everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas. I'm going to do a Dutch pour and let's go over my paints and my pouring medium a little bit different today. And I did get um, these recipes from Erica Hughes of Erica Hughes Art and I will list her name in the description. First of all, my base coat is a Blick titanium white. The pouring medium for that was uh, one part paint, three parts Floetrol, and then I did thin it with water. Okay, now my paints that I'm going to lay down. First, I'm going to go over the paints that are either in the little um, in tubes or in little jars. And my first paint is a combination of Amsterdam sky blue light and Amsterdam pearl blue, about a 50-50 on those two paints. My next paint is Modern Masters Venetian blue. Very, very pretty blue color here from the Modern Masters line. And my next paint is the Parage Posse paint moody blue shimmer this is a newer paint i just bought recently very dark blue color okay now the pouring medium for those paints was let's see here um one part paint two parts flow trawl and then I did add water for consistency. So with those, I'm adding a little bit more water than I did for the base coat because I added um, less Floetrol. Okay, now my last paints, I not only used jar, jar paints, but I also used um, the Color Art um, primary elements also. So the first color is the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Metallic Gold Mine, and to that I mixed Color Art Primary Elements, the Bling It Indian Spice. So there's the paint, and there's the Color Art Primary Element with that. And the next combination is again a Porridge Posse Paint, the Ocean Teal Blue, and to that, I added, again, the Color Art Primary Elements, the Mystic Blue. Very pretty color. Now, the pouring medium for those two is a little bit different. What I did is I took about a tablespoon of Liquitex Gloss Heavy Gel. And if you go to uh, Erica Hughes Art, she used, it, she used the, um, uh, the Golden uh, Heavy gel. I didn't have any of that, so I'm using the Liquitex gel. And I used about a tablespoon of that, and I mixed it with the Color Art uh, primary element, added a little bit of water, and it was almost like paste-like. And then I added my jar paint, about two tablespoons of the jar paint, and then I added Floetrol to thin it down, and then if it needed more thinning, I added a little bit of water at the end. So again, I used about a tablespoon of the Liquitex Gloss Heavy Gel into the primary element with a dab of water to a paste consistency. And then I added about one and a half to two tablespoons of the paint and then about two tablespoons of the Floetrol, finished it off with a little bit of water. So let's go over consistency and I will use the gold here that does have the primary element added to it. And as you can see, it just leaves a little trace and then disappears. No silicone is used today. So what I'm going to do is just move my paints out of the way here and then um, I have my base coat down and we can start putting down the paints. Again, this is just a Dutch pour. And I do find that the Dutch pour is one of the more difficult pours for me to do. So I'm just going to lay my paint kind of like that. 
to start out. And I don't think I'm going to blow the white paint up and over my colored paints. I think I'll just try blowing the paints right out. Now I think I will add some of that gold. And lastly, we'll add the sky blue light. Okay, now I'm gonna give it a quick torch. I did mix my paints yesterday, so hopefully I won't have too many air bubbles. Okay. So I'm going to start with my smaller uh, blow dryer here, and if it doesn't have enough uh, power, I will switch to my uh, bigger blow dryer, and I will put it on cool. and I like it that way. A lot of times you'll see Dutch pours that have uh, negative space and I did not leave any of that here. But uh, I'm going to fill my, um, I'm going to uh, put you on hold just a moment here and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody I'm back and while I had the uh, camera paused what I did is I worked on the sides of the canvas cleaned off the bottom and filled my torch because my torch was running out so let's give this a torch here and see what we bring up I am very happy with the uh, composition of this so far but what I'm going to do is 
Today I watched Gail Burston, Gail Burston Life and Splatters, and uh, she used the Golden High Flow paints directly from the bottle and um, to see if she would get some fractals on her painting. And that is what I'm going to do here today also. So I decided to use the Golden High Flow Phalo Blue and I'm just going to add it in a small area to start to see if I like the uh, the results I get. And I'm just going to blow them out by mouth. As you can see, you can see some of those fractals starting there. It's a very pretty color mixing with the other colors. So I'm just gonna try a few drops this time. Not quite so much paint. See what we come up with here. Very, very pretty. I think that really added a lot to this painting. Just blowing that out a little bit more. And again, that was the um, the Golden High Flow Acrylic. And here is that bottle for that phalo blue. You can get an idea of what I'm using here. And I'm just going to try it over here a little bit. It's just adding a little more interest to this painting.
Okay. I'm really liking the, uh, the effects of that. And I'm going to do it one more time over here in this area. Maybe just to fill in a little bit of this space here. also have other little mouthpieces for this little blower that I'm using and I'm going to try that it's a little bit wider That looks very pretty there, where I've added that uh, phalo blue. Okay, I'm just going to look here at the uh, composition of this piece. And I think I would like to um, extend that gold a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit there, possibly a little bit here. And I'm going to use my slow, my small, my little leaf blower here, the world's smallest leaf blower, and see what we can do with that. And I do have uh, different attachments for this also. Let's give that a try. But I don't think it's strong enough here to move that paint. I'm just going to go with no attachment here and see what I get. Don't be afraid to play with your paintings a little bit. like that a lot better.
okay. I just think that gave the eye a little more to look at there. I'm going to work on this gold just a little bit here. Okay, and I do like that better. And I'm just looking to see if there's any more areas I'd like to enhance. And I think I, I just really, really like what I have here. And let's, uh, I'm gonna do another torch and then we'll get you down for a close up. Okay, everybody I'm back for our close-up and off camera what I did is you can see right here I did add another gold line and just I kind of blew it out with my mouth um, I just thought that it needed a little bit more something so let's uh, start up here at the upper left hand corner just go down the left hand side Here's where I added that high flow from Golden. You can see some of the little fractals that uh, I got in there, just to add a little more interest there. Again, this is a 12 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas. Here again is an area I added that Golden high flow, and there's a good example of those fractals. I think I will work a little more on those just get a little better at it and I will take you over the whole painting here there's those gold lines that I did add later on and blew them out I did blow some areas out again with my mouth just to soften them up I even got some lacing in here, some real little cells. This is a very interesting painting. Got a few fractals there. It's got a lot going on for it. Just love the gold in here. Here's an area that I blew out with my mouth. You can see how I just I just softened it a little bit. Some cell action there. A little bit of lacing there in between the cells. More fractals. And I apologize for the glare. This paint is just very shiny. And I'll take you over to the upper right-hand corner and down the right-hand side. And again, more fractals. And there is the lower right hand side. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. Ring the bell, choose all so you know the next time I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't, that will help my channel grow. 
And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.